from part one of the John Boat Build. Got a John Boat, we're gonna convert it, we bought a trailer, and then we're gonna buy some power for it. So much for a cheap conversion. Do we have a good one for you today? This one y'all have been looking for for a long time. Frankly, it has taken us a long time to get it done, but today we are finally launching the John Boat to Bass Boat Conversion Boat. Um, we finally finished it. Hopefully I've done a, well, let's be honest, I've done a really crappy job of keeping y'all abreast to where we are in the build. And we're gonna show a uh, quick clip, real quick, of just the things we've done, go. our hatch and there is the actual opening cut it a little bit big so we've got a little bit of a lip on everywhere on everything um, I think that's gonna work out just fine so there you go very red So it's like day 7,352, something like that. It's the project that will never end. But we've got the bunks wrapped. We've got the trailer lights installed. We've, uh, we've started painting the boat, so it needs another coat of that red. But the edges along the, the trim is gonna be red. We've got carpeted up front. There's where the trolling motor is gonna go. There's the cable for the trolling motor that we're gonna plug in run all the way back to the batteries back here. We've got the nice little flush mount. That's where our trays are gonna be. <clears throat> we've also, you know, we've got a little plastic container that's gonna sit flush in there. Got the new, the new winch put on. Hey, that's, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Wanted to give you guys an update because I told y'all I suck at filming this stuff. All right, so now that you're caught up with where we are, um, some of the things that we've done, I did not show y'all me putting the trolling motor on. Um, I didn't really do a good job, I don't think, of some of the modifications we've made to the trailer um, because it's a normal size trailer to get it to be a you know, John boat trailer because normal size boats are a little bit wider than John boat. Here's the thing though, the GoPro audio that I'm gonna be wearing on my chest is not gonna be good because I am not wearing a microphone. I'm sealing the GoPro up completely, you know, completely sealed. Um, I don't wanna have anything, any of the housings opened. Um, the big camera is definitely not coming on the boat. We're gonna take like one or two rods that I would be okay with losing because this boat is heavy. Like we made it really heavy and it's very front heavy. There was actually a picture Chris sent me when we first got on the trailer where it just tipped up. Um, with the batteries and everything, we think we've got it balanced better, but we really don't know what to expect, and I don't want this thing sinking like the dang Titanic with all of our camera equipment on there. There's the boat. She's coming. There she is. All painted and dolled up. There she is, folks. There's the old the old John boat got the old bass boat trolling motor on the front. Got it nice and mounted. Our batteries are going to go in the back, obviously. We ran some cable for those. We tested that out. It should work. And we even have a nice little storage area, which also has water in it. We do have different color carpet down here because, well, they were out when we went back and we needed more carpet. But... Nonetheless, it's pretty much carpeted the way it's supposed to be. It looks pretty freaking sweet, if I do say so myself. Now we gotta get rigged up and figure out how to launch this thing um, because we're not backing it into the pond because pretty sure it would sink into the mud. So 
the next view y'all are gonna have is probably gonna be from me and Chris's uh, chesty cams. Here we are. We've even got the logo on it. We're about to push it in the water for the first time. We're gonna see if we can't catch a fish or two. Oh, steady as a... I mean, somewhat steady. It's, yeah. it's not as bad as I thought it would be. That's far so good. Old Guggen baits and some old zooms. Well, this is exciting. Yeah, we did sink, so it's very exciting. We the only the only issue I've got is if I ever come to the pond, I'll need to bring my own kayak. There's no way I'm getting this in by myself. No way. Well, this is a whole new experience. I see the pond from a whole different angle now. Well, there's one biting it. I don't know what it is. Got him. Whatever it is. Little boy. First little bass in the boat. Boom. He's got a tag in it too. Really? Yes, I see it. He is tagged. Maybe we should call this the Dink Express. That's that's a good boat name, the Dink Express. Number 1032. 1032. 11 inches long. Hold on, hold on. 1032, 11 inches long. All right, so we have caught a fish out of the boat. How about that? All right, this trolling motor though, I will tell you, extremely oversized for this little boat, which is awesome, because we're gonna be able to fly. Like, I wanna put- Like we got bigger lakes, we can go to where we want to go. Yeah. I mean, we should be able to fly. I'm gonna put it on five here in a minute, just go up the middle of the pond and see what happens. Oh, that's a fish. Got it. I think. He's a, he's a little guy. Uh, I know, the fairy wand does it. But look at that, it's right through the top of the mouth. I mean, right through the top of the mouth. That's a good little hook set right there. Let him take it because he's a little fella. Well, I'm swapping to the drop. See if I can catch one on the drop. Careful doing that. What's that? Oh, yeah, I see that now. You ain't gonna come over that tree. I got a fish on there anyway. Look at that. Oh, son of a grasshopper. Quick release. <laughs> You're gonna learn about the drop shot on the fairy one and stuff. When you hook them, go straight up with it. Don't go to the side like we normally do. So when you, you set the hook, you, you do this. On those, you want to come straight up. That's a tiny, tiny. Little, little dinker. Ready? I got it in high. Jeez. <laughs> but maybe let's start out at two and work our way up. Hey, we moving. Success. The boat's a success. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, the, the John boat to bass boat conversion right there is complete and she is a beauty. Thanks to Chris's painting, a little bit of my carpet work, some somewhat okay carpentry skills by both of us. I mean, she works. We didn't sink. That's right. We caught fish. You actually caught one on your ferry wand. Sort of. Well, I mean, you got it, it to the edge of the boat, not technically in the boat yet. You hooked one with your fairy wand. Right. So guys, if y'all enjoyed this one, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and uh, leave a comment below on what y'all want us to name the boat. We need some names. Dink uh, Express, the Dink anything Exp like that. It's, I mean, because it's going to be used for the pond for the most part. We are going to take it to some other lakes. We want to get some bigger fish caught in it. But for the most part, it's going to be like our little pond, our pond thing. So. Come up with some names, leave them in the comments. That would be super, super helpful. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here. Y'all have a good one, and uh, we're gonna film some more videos out of the new boat. 
which we still don't name. We don't have a name for. Hit the comments. Leave us a name. Let's go.